témoin aussi de, de, ces, de cette euh, histoire, Ploss, médecine, effectivement, a pratiquement le même âge que, que, que DNDI sur le sujet. Et donc, nous avons le plaisir, effectivement, d'avoir un de ses éditeurs, le senior éditeur, Ronan Maldognal, qui va, effectivement, vous adresser quelques mots. Thank you. I just want to say on behalf of PROS how delighted we are to be here today working in collaboration to celebrate this 10-year anniversary, at least one of the birthday parties. Um, and we're also delighted to be launching a collection with DNDI and PROS, a decade of open access and NTD R&D, Neglected Tropical Diseases Research and Development. Now, PLOS and DNDI have so much in common, apart from the fact that PLOS is also celebrating our 10-year anniversary. I think both organisations have broken with convention. I think both have really pushed boundaries. And I think both have shown that a different model also works. And I think advocacy is also key to what we do. Obviously, with DNDI, it's pushing the advocacy for NTD R&D. And with PLOS, it's pushing... Um, the advocacy for open access so that all scientific research can be available to all and not put behind the publishing paywall. So in this collection, we showcase um, 10 years of articles published in the PLOS journals, that's PLOS Medicine, PLOS NTDs and PLOS One. And uh, as you can imagine, Bernard pops up a few times in some of the articles that he writes. And I think looking at them, you can really see how the position has changed over the last 10 years, um, but also actually how it hasn't and how we need to keep pushing on in terms of, of our advocacy, but also in terms of research. And in the collection, we also have some um, research articles mostly focused on the big three, Vis visceral leishmaniasis, sleeping sickness and shagas disease and how developments um, sometimes promoted by DNDI um, are coming to the fore. And in the collection as well, we also um, showcase some of the examples of things that have worked, like public-private partnerships um, and some other developments. Um, but I think it's, as we're celebrating this 10-year this anniversary, as well as sort of looking to, to the past, as the, as the collection does, I think it's also important to look forward to the future and where we might be in 10 years' time, what might 2023 look like. And would there ever come a time where we can actually take the neglected out of tropical diseases so that they're not neglected anymore and that they are um, a priority for scientists, for funders, for governments, for everyone alike, so that anyone who has a tropical disease can have the treatment that they need. I think even though it sounds aspirational, that's something that we're still pushing towards. And as for PLOS, for our 10-year aim, might it be that open access is the norm, that all scientific publication can be freely available to all, and that's something that we'll keep pushing towards too. So say, as we celebrate this 10-year anniversary, I think we, we look ahead, and here's to many more years of pushing the boundaries. So thank you so much on behalf of everyone at PLOS. Merci, Ronan.